I'm Frankie. Uh, I'm a developer on MetaMask, and I was not quite informed that this was only a demo, so of course, in my nature, I'm going to rant. Um, I do want to talk just briefly about, I did, okay, I've like remade these slides six times today, so we're going to see how they ended up. Um, okay, who in here is familiar with MetaMask? This is going to be a good surprise for the most of you. Um, who in here is familiar with what identity is on in like um, in the internet? Cool. So it's Facebook is one form of identity, right? Um, identity is also your credit card and so on and so forth, and a lot of a lot of other things that we do from day to day time that we don't maybe you guys do that most people won't think about. Uh, identity is also a user account on a remote server. Uh, it stores your passwords. You are like a password, essentially. Sometimes identity can be things like maybe you log in, it has two-factor authentication, maybe you use federated ID server, stores cookies in your browser, tracks you without your consent, requires you to hand over billing conduct. Again, we talked about the credit card thing. Um, and may track you long after you delete your account. So <coughs> identity is a lot of stuff. And, oh, I, I think I did this one. That's okay. We'll come back to this. Actually, let's just go straight to this one. What is MetaMask? Uh, MetaMask is a Chrome extension. Then we do a couple of different things. I'm sure those of you who recognize me or have seen MetaMask before know us as the adorable fox. We also do decentralized identity and provide a trustworthy data source to the browser, in this case, Ethereum and the Ethereum API, known as Web3. Um, let's carry on. The way we do this is we get user consent to write data on all websites by injecting the Web3 API. This allows applications such as uh, Baker, or always this text, see? All the things in the brain. Uh, to access Ethereum as their backend and store data and access data. Um, and then we do a confirmation to write to the blockchain. Now I'm sure like those of you who are familiar with Bitcoin and Ethereum understand that there's probably a lot of funds locked up in these accounts and you don't just want anybody spending your, your Ether or Bitcoin for you. So you probably want to know when that's happening. Um, and if, if the keys and are lost, so is the account. Uh, this is a very important thing to remember. Like we, we actually don't host the server. So we're, we're trying to make it so that the user owns their identity and is responsible for their identity. But of course, that means the user is responsible for their identity. So if you lose your keys and maybe you forget your password and then you're like, oh no, I didn't copy my seed trays anywhere. Does anyone know what a seed trays is? Well, we'll go over it for those who can raise our hand. It's okay. I, I forgot to set the timer so I didn't rant too long. Hopefully I haven't gone too much over time. Um, but we don't have a server. We want you to own your identity. If you forget your password or your seed phrase, you won't have access to your identity anymore. And even though that these are some like pretty weird things going on here, you know, we're like, oh, we just write, you know, we have the ability to like inject stuff into your into every page you visit. That's pretty strange. For some people that's a little scary. And yet we're still pretty popular. Who knows how this happens, period. <laughs> but I'm sure you guys want to see it, so let's go and take a look what MetaMask actually is. If I can remember how this works. Yeah, there we go. I do. I do. I'm very enforceful about that, actually. I get really mad when people come to me and are like, I didn't do what you told me to do. And I'm like, well, I can't help you. I'm sorry. It makes me sad and also annoys me, but it's okay. I still love everyone. Okay, so let's start off with going to one of my favorite demoing places because I have an addiction to get click games. You can find my mouse. Either space. Either space. It's gonna start noise. No, cool. We did a good job. Um, is a game on the blockchain. They're pretty awesome people. They're very sweet. They hang out in our Slack and, you know, ask us questions. Oh, there it is. They also have this really ridiculous soundtrack. 
As you can see here, it says you will need an Ethereum browser to warrant a place. Let's just go download MetaMask, the Chrome plugin, the Chrome. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. We ask you to let us do these things. I know, read and change all your data on websites sounds really scary, but I'm telling you, it's totally okay. We are also open source, so if you are super worried, you can go read the code. We're gonna add that as an extension. Of course, now, instead of doing this whole demo, I could just play this video, but I, I like talking to you guys. That's so very quiet. Um, of course, we have a privacy notice. You know, we are injecting your account in every page, and if you leave your MetaMask unlocked, people can see your public keys. They are your public keys, and maybe you don't want to be tracked to lock your MetaMask account. Also, we're beta. Never forget that. And then, you know, we're going to do what everybody else does and not read the terms. <laughs> we're going to create an account. If you were wondering what my password is, I will tell you. The fox knows. Oh yeah, the fox. We are an adorable fox. I hope you enjoy it. We enjoy it. Sometimes, sometimes when I get bored, I open it. I like to talk. Uh, so this, this is really important. This is part of your identity. This is the secret part of your identity. If you lose this, you cannot recover your account. This isn't like something where I'm like asking you for your email and like. I'm gonna send you an email to reset your password and like everything's going to be fine. We actually don't know anything about you. We don't know you're a user of MetaMask and they're like, the best we get is like a number on the Chrome store of how many people, how many like unique people have downloaded it. So, don't lose these words. Now of course all of you know these words, so I'm never going to use this account ever again, but don't lose these words. And then uh, I'm gonna lie and say I've copied it somewhere. And as you can see here, we now have an Ethereum account. We have the collective belief. Any of you were smart enough, you would have taken a picture of those two words. Um, that's okay. And now, when we go back here, where were we? We were here. I'm gonna go to, back to Etherscan, or not Etherscan, sorry, Etherplay. I'm gonna spell things properly. And it should, if all goes well, show its actual website. And music off. Thank you. Um, so now we are actually connected to the Ethereum blockchain. And Etherspace is getting its information off there. We can actually go click on high scores and all of this information is stored on the blockchain. All this information is stored on the blockchain and they don't have a database and if you are in these top 66 scores, you get a piece of the jackpot. Anyway. Thank you, Frankie. Give it up. Basic information. 
Yes. I'll leave which one. Yeah. <laughs> We're an open source project. We, we don't make money right now. Yes. Uh, are you going to be doing mobile at all? Uh, we have this awesome guy, his name is, uh, I don't know actually if he wants me to reveal his name, but he tweets about it, so maybe it's fun. Uh, he has been in his free time building Venomas for mobile. And we are hopefully, like, we'll see something really awesome out of that. Um, but yes, there is, like, plans to make a mobile version, a mobile ish version of Venom. Anyone else? Yes. Uh, we're not. Uh, it's, it's, it's really just like, oh, you don't have to sync a no. Thank you for reminding me. I always forget that one. Uh, you don't have to sync node, and you can use Chrome. So you can just use the browser that you're used to using all the time, except now, you know. Yeah, and uh, you'll never have to go download Get if you don't want to. For parent, yes. How many active contributors do you have? Uh, we are a team of five developers right now. I'm stuck back. <laughs> Again. So we're a team of five developers, and uh, that's about it. We, we are umbrella under consensus, so we are paid. But, huh? Consensus? Give it up one more time for that.